one day, I was scrolling through YouTube as to ignore the real life, and I stumbled upon a Safia Nygaard video. Her video was, I tried a 10-step Korean skincare routine for 30 days, or something along the lines of that. It was a good video. I think my only complaint with that video is why I did this video in the first place. When people do like skincare experiments, we'll say, it's kind of unsatisfying if the person doesn't have bad skin in the first place. Don't get me wrong, I think Safiya Nygaard is probably one of the sweetest, most genuine people on this goddamn hell site, but she's also probably <laughs> one of those girls that gets one pimple a week and thinks that's having acne. I wish that, that was the issue. <laughs> I guess I just wanted to try it because I'm a person that actually struggles. I did not wear foundation today. Take a look at these bad boys. I'm a person that actually struggles with acne and I've struggled with acne since I was fucking nine years old. I thought, why not a person that actually struggles with acne actually try this? And I have been meaning to start a skincare routine for a while. As soon as I beat my executive dysfunction, I'm on better medication now. So now I can attempt to take care of myself. And it should start with skincare. So I was like, fuck it, skincare. This is not going to be a perfect experiment in relation to Safia's video because I'm a cheap ass. I don't like spending money. It gives me anxiety because capitalism would rather see mentally ill people eat their own fucking foot than care for them in any way. We're gonna try a Korean skincare routine, but it's gonna be like a drugstore version for all of you fellow middle and lower class folks. These are not Korean products, but we are going by the uh, Korean skincare routine. Because everybody's skin reacts differently to different products, I just kinda had to Google shit and hope for the best. Like, I did some research, but research can only do so much because everybody's skin is different. So one person could be like, yeah, I have oily, acne-prone skin, and this worked for me. And I'd be like, fuck yeah, let me try. And then it's god-awful. Kind of throwing a dart here. I did my best. Here's how I built the skincare routine. The first step of the skincare routine, oil-based cleanser. I ended up buying Desert Essence Face Wash. Is this, is this how this works? <laughs> I don't have like a clip or anything, so my hair is just gonna dry weird, I guess. We're, I guess we're doing this. The forehead has been released. I'm so sorry. Oh, 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 oh. That smells weird. Oh, oh, it gets, ah, uh, ha, ha, I understand now. It's just get that bread, I guess. I'm a goblin. What the fuck? Should I not be rubbing with a towel? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never known what I'm doing. I haven't known what I'm doing since 1793. My lips are tingly. I don't know if that's good or not. Or, you know, I could be allergic to this shit, but we never know. Step two in the double cleanse, the water-based face wash. I chose this because um, me and all of my pals kind of swear by this. It's kind of dope. It's the acne-free, oil-free acne cleanser. Now uh, this god, this is the water-based cleanser. Plot twist, that's not really a plot twist. I am allergic to that first one and my lips stinging right now is because of that. Third step, exfoliator. I know for a fact that like the St. Ives type shit is god awful for your skin. I would know, I've used it before, that shit hurts. This is a sugar scrub. They're less harsh on the skin, or at least the face skin. Could still be too harsh. It's the Tree Hut Lemon Blueberry Tart Shea Sugar Scrub. I expected this to smell more citrusy. It smells like a weird fucking muffin. Fourth step, toner. 
I use the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Clarifying Problem Skin Toner. I know Shea Moisture hair products are good, so I thought I'd give it a try. Yes, Nick, that makes so much sense. The hair products are good, so the face wash or the, or the fucking toner must be great. That, flawless. Their African Black Soap is kind of not actually African Black Soap. It's a scam, do not get their African Black Soap. It's a scam. I thought this might be something. Thought I'd give it a try. This is the time where I would exfoliate on an exfoliate day, but it is not an exfoliate day. Oh, this is the toner. I found a cotton ball. We are thriving. Oh, 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 okay. I don't even know if that even did anything. I mean, there's stuff on my face now, so that's cool. Fifth step, spot treatment. I use the Clean and Clear Persagel 10. Maximum strength. It was really, really fucking cheap. We are going to use this Persa gel. I will also be applying this motherfucker to my chest and back. As you can see, I got all these spots. Let's just apply it to the entire face. I'm gonna end up needing like a second bottle of this. I don't know if I'm applying too much of this or not. It says apply to the affected areas. Well, the affected areas is my entire goddamn face. Sixth step, face mask. I'm going to be real with you. This shit is a seasonal item that has been discontinued. I got it because basically buying it in the pack that it was in made every face mask like a dollar if you did the math. That's really good. So I'm a cheap ass and I bought it and I saved some money. However, they don't make them anymore. RIP. I'm God's mistake. Seventh step, eye repair cream. You put it on your under eyes. It is the CeraVe eye repair cream. It comes on this like tiny ass bottle. That's. That's some cheap shit right there. Pat, pat, pat. Eighth step, the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. A step, apply liberally. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna apply liberally. Why isn't this working? Okay, there we go, motherfucker. We got ourselves a moisturizer. Boo, 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 boo. My face is now burning though. So I don't know what that means. Just making bad decisions, you know? That is my drugstore eight step routine. But Nick, that is not 10 steps. You're right. Because I'm a cheap ass, I didn't wanna just do this routine just for the experiment. I actually wanted to, you know, get my money's worth to some extent. And the two steps that I excluded from the 10 step Korean skincare routine were the essences and the sunscreen. My face does not need any more essence. I'm telling you right now, my face has enough essence. I have oily skin, no essences. I'm good, thank you. And the other step I skipped, because I am a white boy that thinks I'm immune to the elements, sunscreen. I am not, in fact, a white boy that is immune to the elements, but I think I am. I think I'm immune to the sun, I think I'm immune to the cold, I think I'm immune. So I didn't buy a sunscreen version of the moisturizer, because I didn't want to. That's the only fucking reason. Fuck you, sun! I'm just gonna scream at the sun. That's how I'm gonna- <laughs> that's how I'm gonna protect myself from UV rays. I'll launch myself into the sun. That's all I've ever wanted. <laughs> that's the routine. It should be noted that with the exfoliator and the face masks, I did not do a face mask every night because I'm a cheap ass. And I only had 12. That's one every three days. And for exfoliator, you're really not supposed to exfoliate your skin more than twice a week. So I did it twice a week. So technically, it's a little bit of a lie to say that this is an eight step routine because at most on any given day, it was seven at night. However, I can say twice a day, every day, it was at least six steps, which is a lot still. I kind of did this thing where I went exfoliate night, nothing night, face mask night, nothing night, exfoliate night. I, I had a system, I broke the system a couple times, I lost track of the system. I eventually 
did finish all of the face masks, so it didn't go too wrong. It is like thir day 34 or some shit. I'm, I've since not been doing the skincare routine. I've been trying something else. Let's review. I'm about to show you the before and after and warning, they're kind of disappointing. Wasn't that kind of disappointing? <laughs> when I was looking at the before and after, you could tell that like the color of my skin in general kind of evened out altogether and that was pretty dope. I think little acne spots weren't as frequent in the second picture. However, there's huge scarring. And listen, one of the issues I ran into is uh, I have a skin picking problem and I knew this would be a problem. I don't pick the skin unless there is a pimple already there. So if the routine was doing its job, I wouldn't have picked at my skin, if that makes sense. So it's a bit half and half the faults of that. I did think my skin got better at some point. I think it was sort of like that day 15 mark where my skin did look better than the first day. So something happened. For some reason in like the last week, this, these scarring points, the pimples of those scarring points happened. And I was like, why? Why are you here? Leave. Am I going to use this product again? This is the oil-based cleanser. And the answer is no, I'm not going to use this product again. This motherfucker made me have an allergic reaction and I'm surprised I used it all 30 days despite that. My face felt better after the mask. It was nice, although I put the moisturizer on and it started burning again. That might be a problem. We'll figure it out. You can see it's really fucking red, like my entire face. And like, listen, my face is naturally red, but this is too much. My lips are like inflamed and you can tell because I usually don't have this much lip. I'm a white boy. The first day my skin was burning and I was like, that's not good. Let's continue using this for 30 days. Yeah, good thinky brain, Nick. Good job. I also used it on my chest and back and I got like a huge rash right here. And I'm assuming it's this bitch's fault. So um, no, I'm not gonna use this bitch again. Am I going to continue doing a double cleanse? Yet to be determined. I'll do more research on it. I'm not totally certain that I'll continue doing this step or not, but I considered it. Step two, like I said, this bitch, my friends and I kind of swear by this. It does work. And right now, I'm kind of stepping away from the eight step shit after this experiment, and I bought the other two products associated with this to see if they're working any better. So far, it's done more in two days than all of these products did in 30. Guess who's Boo Boo the Fool? It's me. This shit. It didn't do anything bad to my face, I don't think. Like dermatologists, some of them are like, do not do beaded face scrubs. They will cause micro tears in your skin. Mayhaps. Honestly though, my skin felt smoother nicer after using this. I was gentle when using this. I didn't like scrub my face off. Because of how fucking huge this is and how I barely even scratched the surface of it, yeah, I'm gonna continue using this. I am not wasting this shit. I'm gonna finish this and then switch to a chemical exfoliator. So I will continue the exfoliating step, I guess. This toner. It obviously is not doing as well as the other toner I'm using from the Acne Free line now. I don't know, it says for blemish prone skin, but it didn't really do much. I will continue doing the toner step as I've established having bought a different toner. I don't know if I'm gonna continue using this bitch. It's almost gone anyways, so it's not like I'm, I'm wasting shit. So I'll continue doing toner, but maybe not this one. This motherfucker. I paid $5 for it. It's not like it didn't do anything, but it like, it could have been better. The acne lotion from the acne free line is already doing better than this thing did for 30 days. Like, listen, if you're on a budget and your face isn't as stubborn as mine, it doesn't suck. It could be better. A face mask. Motherfucker, it was a face mask. I don't know what to tell you. It put shit on my face. Okay, here's the problem, right? I have oily skin. When you put more oil on oil, it kind of sucks. And the worst part is, 
after I did the face mask like fucking three times a week, I'd have to also put on moisturizer afterwards. I just felt like a soup. My face was a soup. I don't have anything against face masks. It made my skin softer. I don't know. It nourished my skin, apparently. This one says nourish. I'm not 100% sure what the point was. It was kind of relaxing. I'd do it again if I weren't such a cheap ass because other face masks are kind of expensive for the product. I'm not gonna do it regularly, but I'm also not gonna deny a face mask. So it's not gonna be part of my future routine, but I sure did appreciate it while it lasted. This bitch. I mean, it's an under eye cream. It did something. I was at work at 6 a.m. touching my under eyes because they were so soft and I was enamored by it. I could tell that my under eyes were less dark. And this little guy can last quite a long time because you only need a tiny squirt. I'm not gonna use it regularly. However, if I like put on foundation and like need to wash my skin later, I'll apply it because I, I know that when I have to like wash the foundation and uh, fucking concealer off my under eyes, it kind of leaves them irritated and eventually they dry out and shit. So I mean, this would be useful in that situation. I'm not knocking it. I'm just a cheap ass. <laughs> it's not gonna be part of my future routine, but um, I appreciated it. The facial moisturizing. It was moisturizing. I don't think the product itself is bad. It's just like I've said before, my skin is already oily as fuck. I don't really need a moisturizer. It didn't do anything wrong. It was a moisturizer. So I might continue using it every once in a while when I feel my face is irritated. I don't know. Before I see if I'm going to add the moisturizer back into my routine, I'm going to see how the acne free line works by itself so I have a control. And then I'm going to start putting on moisturizer again to see if this like blocks any curative properties of the acne free line. So I'm just gonna see what happens. That was an adventure. In comparison to what I've seen in two days with the acne free line versus 30 days with eight steps, it wasn't that worth it. I didn't mention it before, but all of these products together cost somewhere around $80, including the extra bottles of the Persagel or the spot treatment that I had to buy because I kept running out of it. Uh, not really worth it. That's a lot of fucking money. And mind you, this is the drugstore cheap ass version of this routine. We don't have money for this. I will say that a routine this extensive might be helpful to someone with naturally dry skin. If you got naturally dry skin, all of the essences will uh, be helpful, I think. I don't think oily skin people really need this shit. I need a face wash, some toner, and an acne lotion, and possibly moisturizer if I'm feeling frisky. That was my face tour. I hope you enjoyed it.